Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'm about 80% sure that Hippo behind me is the one who gives me the other quest, even though he doesn't have a thing over his head right now. My eight brothers have been trapped in rock and will sink if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping and then pressing the action button. Follow my lead. I would really rather not. Well, if he's going to do something that I have to mimic, then I'll just read this right here before pressing A. Uh, shout out to Elthwar, who let me know that uh, there was some deleted dialogue from uh, Shady Oasis that said that the thieves in the level came from Scorch to steal the magic berries. So that's uh, yet another pair, uh, a set, uh, as he puts it, of uh, paired levels in the game. And might even answer the question of uh, who hired uh, Handel and Greta. Follow me! And remember, jump, and then press the action button to head bash. Follow Grundy and bash your relatives out of the rock. Oh, my mistake. Oh, they're literally sinking. Thanks for freeing us. All I have to give you is this thingy I found. At least it's not a rock. Nice. Well, that's enough to stop the dude. So that means there's a rocket here somewhere. I didn't actually see that right there. That's very funny to me. I'm just looking up high. Where the fuck could it be? Up there, maybe, with a giant crystal? Oh, no! Spyro, oh. Three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. Uh, no, I did that already. Oh, I can't even skip this. I can't even pause. Let me see something here. Ah, yes. Shout out to Blazing Fox Spirit, who issues a correction about uh, something I said in the IC level. Uh, not to be picky, but snow leopards do not have spots, they have rosettes. I stand corrected. Oh, that's why I didn't want to walk near that guy, because it would trigger these assholes to exist, and I don't actually need to fight them, but they're really annoying to have hanging around ambiently. I wonder. I really, and I mean really, wish I had known that before. Actually, I was going to try this. Okay, I'm not supposed to knock that down and jump on it. Just checking. I guess I don't have a way of getting up there. Sounded like he was on the fucking roof there. Now, I know I made that look easy, but I just fired randomly, hoping he would be there when it, uh, when it arrived. Walk into that. 
Hold still and smile for the birdie. Thanks for bringing back the three magic lamps. Here, take this orb. Some fairy left it with me, but it won't hold a proper shine. I suppose I probably would have tried to make a second model, if you've already done it, where it's like made of paper mache or something, but then I'm very strangely amused. Huh. Where the fuck? I know where the gems are, they're right down there, but... Yeah, that's the, that's the tricky part, when sparks can't help you. What's going on over here? It has to be somewhere back out in the main room. It has to be. Where the fuck could I it have been that I haven't looked? I just keep looking up at that shelf up there because it's, su it's suspiciously wide. Toxic waste or poison or whatever the fuck it is. Why would you have this big fancy pool that looks like, you know, oh, it's the rich Sultan's pool? Except it's poison! Why would you maintain this area? And for the love of God, what are those plants? Maybe it's not poison to these people. Maybe it's just like, oh, algae is absolutely deadly to dragons. Wait, it isn't... Well, fuck you, I still beat the level. Huh? Oh, yes. Uh, huh? I think there was also a comment with that cutscene right there, come to think of it. Huh? Oh. Yeah, that, I, hmm. I don't know what to make of that. Ah, there it is. Uh, shout out to Miracle Tiger, who says, uh... The end of level cutscene for uh, Shady Oasis implies that one hippo is hoarding all the berries. However, in the original cutscene of the uh, PS1 game, there were two hippos there, and only one was huge, implying he ate all the fruit. So when he pushes the fruits to the side, uh, he was pushing them towards the other hippo to make it look like he wasn't eating all of them, and he's trying to comically pin the blame on him, even though the other guy is still small. And that makes way more sense than what they went with, which is just the guy just shoving food to the side. I couldn't even tell that they were like, oh, he's hoarding the food. So yeah, they said they could eat as many berries as they wanted, my dude. What's, what was your problem? I don't want to go to Magma Cone. Alright, let's do this get this done and over with. I don't know if I can even do three laps of uh, the of the uh, the supercharge mode, but we will see what we can do. I have been warned by multiple people that uh, if you don't do the uh, alchemist thing and the head bash thing in the same run, you have to do the alchemist thing over again, so I am prepared for that. Thank you for releasing me. There are still some more satyrs trapped in stone. 
Well, hello there, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> You're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish I could take you on a tour of our temple, but a bunch of lousy earth shapers have encased it in stone. So is there going to be an earth shaper level with a bunch of evil fawns in it? Uh, no, I guess not. Elora is on our side. That must be awkward. <laughs> I do like that the pigs do the Highland Dance when you uh, get one of these guys to play. Like, uh, what does that call that? Is that more of an Irish thing? River Dance. I forgot about those. Alright, I need to test something. Okay, that one wasn't intentional. And I suddenly realized I didn't actually write it down. Wow. I genuinely didn't think any of the objects in this game actually had physics on them. You know, because it was a fucking PS1 game. Huh. Getting a lot of love today, it's Miracle Tiger, who left me a fun fact about the beehive trees. Yeah, quote, I don't know if it's the case in the remaster, but in the original, at least, the tree petted its beehive as if to tell it, job well done, when the bees hit Spyro. So hey, confirmed. Still does that. Although it does kind of look like it's polishing it. All right, I'll just kill you. My organs. Yeah, you hit me with a fucking pickaxe. I'm the one who's gonna melt you. God damn, I hate these things. Suck it down! Well, clearly I can't do anything until I find myself a pig. Careful. Okay, they're all real. What about that one? That one's pretty... Nicely positioned to... No? Okay. How about Spyro uh, speedruns are a thing of beauty? Speedruns always do my head in. I mean, for a very long time, I had it in my head that the entire concept is disrespectful. Because you're just skipping past all the stuff they put so much effort into, but... Eh, then I kind of came around when someone uh, pitched it to me as... Uh, pitched it to me instead, rather, as uh, someone loving a game enough to memorize it to the point where they can play it in seconds? Oh, for fuck's sake. And I can't skip these cutscenes either, by the way. I don't skip the uh, the dialogue at the beginning of the levels Thank because it amuses me, me for uh there are still some more satyrs trapped in stone. Oh and you're alive again, you fucking piece of shit. Perfect. Off you go, then. What? How 
bet that gives you a real headache. Oh, it's a tree branch, not a crack. Sorry. Ah, fuck, I didn't think I was close enough for that. Anger. Apparently there are speed runs of people beating all of Control in like an hour 45. That might have been the 100% one. And that baffles me. Well, hello there, Mr. Dragon. Okay, that one we already heard, so... That was strangely satisfying. That too. Go ahead and die. sense at all, does it? Feels like today is trying to annoy me. Got started late because for once it wasn't just me slacking off. It was technical issues and, uh. Well, other bullshit. Oh, right, the pig. Okay! No longer worrying about Sparks' well being. Off you go. you killed me last time, so I'm very glad you're no longer alive. Ow! I don't know, just something about the way the buildings here look reminds me of, very specifically, of uh, Warcraft 2. Tides of Darkness? I don't remember the subtitle exactly. That might have been it. Or was Tides of Darkness the expansion? It doesn't matter. Um... I just assumed, to be honest. Oh, now I feel bad. I'll just keep going and get the next one and double back for that one. So that he can dance during the cutscene. <laughs> oh, a dragon! Perhaps you can help! My friend is locked in this room and lost the key. Do you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night? Tell the other is what you have seen. It 
It's great to be free. Now there's only one satyr left to rescue. Hey, it worked. Kind of didn't think it would happen that quickly. Now that you have rescued all the satyrs in Fracture Hills, you ought to explore the temple. But there's just one person inside of it, and she's kind of an asshole. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, let's do this. Really, that distance is three hits. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Your friend's dead. You want to avenge him? Well, that was your try. Activate the thing yet? Oh, right, I got all the things here. Yeah, I thought. Oh, no, I didn't think I was done here. But, uh. Doesn't. Isn't this supposed to be open by now? That's kind of weird. Oh, no, that's just the side. Okay. Fine, fine. You know what? You I will interrupt, gladly. Oh, hi, dragon. Oh, hi, dragon. Oh, hi, fawn. I don't know, just like... Assuming I was only in it because... Oh, I didn't think she could rescue herself and all that. What? No! Your friend asked me to save you. Or no, your friend asked me to save the temple, rather, and you were just in the way. <laughs> eh, this way. You know, I will say this. I might not like the Earth Shapers. And, you know, to be clear, I don't. But I would still rather deal with them than with Astral Spikes. Wait a minute. Okay, that's not it either. Worth a shot. If you don't know what an Astral Spike is, it's probably because you haven't played Control, and in that case, I will say nothing. I know it's not very uh, characteristic of someone as verbose as myself. I mean, honestly, uh, one of the things that kept me going early on when, uh, you know, you're a new Let's Player and nobody's watching your videos, well, for me, it was simply that I like to hear myself talk. <laughs> no, but, um... Yeah, I feel like Control, in particular, is a game that is best experienced as blind as possible. But I guess we're here. So, uh, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play... I was gonna say Control. Of Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage Reignited. When we, uh... Well, we help this asshole out again. And then see what, uh... Hunter wanted to do with, uh... The head bash move. Later.